It seems like the competition between Ghana and Nigeria isn't ending anytime soon, bro. Like, this competition will be going on till thy kingdom come. Even after thy kingdom hey, has come, the competition will continue. Bro, Ghanaians or Ghana has been competing with Nigeria in food, in movies, and in music. Right now, dear, a Ghanaian wants to take this whole competition to a whole different level by competing uh, against Nigeria when it comes to women. Let's dive into the video. I'm back again. I'm back again. So during a street interview, two individuals who appears to be Ghanaians were asked which African country has the most beautiful women. Some of the answers were understandable, whilst others, in my opinion, were disrespectful towards Ghanaian women. I don't know whether it was just to make fun of them or if he really meant it as he said it. What African country has the best women? Uh, Ghana. No, Nigeria. Nigeria. Ghana. Really? No, Nigeria. Ghana. Nigeria. The guy in the baby blue tracksuit repeatedly said Nigeria. It's as if a Nigerian woman has shown him some love, Bia Charlie. He has never witnessed that in his life before or a Ghanaian woman has broken his heart to the extent that even with super glue, no, he couldn't put the pieces back together. Where are you from? I'm from Ghana as well. So Nigerian women take it all when it comes to the best women in uh, Africa. Yeah, yeah, because the reason I said Nigerian women are beautiful because... Ah, Charlie, the guy couldn't wait to share his experience. So he had to chew and talk at the same time. He didn't even have time to swallow whatever he was chewing. From the look of things, the guy might have been waiting for this moment his whole life just to share his opinion or his experiences. Now let's listen to his reasons. They got, they got the height and they got the body. Ghanaian women are short short and they are, they are short short with big bum like a, <laughs> like a dining table. But true be told, the guy looks feminine to me. They both look like couples, not friends. But bro, let me tell you something. How can he compare a human being to an object like he literally said Ghanaian women look like a dining table bro <laughs> this was disrespectful if he had been given clay to your friend saying create his perfect woman would he be able to do so Bro, I'm starting to believe or to think like, say, some Ghanaian woman B has put pepper in his eyes. So since then, no, he can never say, like, he doesn't have anything good to say about Ghanaian women. If he can degrade women in public, bro, he never loved or respected his mother. Because, like, bro, what he doesn't know, they say, like, uh, by disrespecting women in public, no, he is automatically disrespecting his mother too. But from his reaction, no, you could see, say, he was ready for war, he was ready for whatever. That's why he said whatever he liked. Yeah, yeah, big bomb. But Nigeria, they have a high to go with it. But Ghanaian big bomb is shapeless. I don't know many Nigerian women. My Nigerian friends, you know, Charlie, they are into white girls, white women, or Ghanaians. Are Nigerian girls that tall as he is saying? Like, how tall is an average Nigerian girl or Nigerian woman? Write it in the comment section and update me on this. So, Ghan I think Nigerians are ma much better. Did you say Ghanaian women have bomb bomb like dining table? Yeah, they are, they are big, their bomb is like sitting at dining table. How about Nigeria also? <laughs> Nigeria, but they are tall. They are tall. They go, they go high to go with it. But Ghanaians ones are, they just eat fufu, fufu and no, they no. shorten. They, they run like a football. No, no. <laughs> he said Ghanaian women are round like a football. Bro, 
I don't know which Ghanaian woman he has bumped into. Because the ones I do know, no, Charlie, even my Nigerian friends can't testify. He didn't even give the other guy a chance to defend Ghanaian women. Bro, this feminine looking ass boy, you know, was straight rapping, making sure he says everything that comes into his mind. He acted like a woman, you know, say, when I deal with a woman as a man, no, Charlie. <laughs> You don't even have a chance or you don't even get a chance to explain yourself. So what you got to do is accept whatever. Whether it is your fault or no. Just say, yes, ma'am. He should have left the other guy to also tell his side of the story or to also defend your friend saying Ghanaian woman or or to also talk his experiences. Has a Ghanaian lady broken your heart before? No, but uh, I always go for the Nigerian ones. Yeah. So because you've never dated a Ghanaian lady before? No, I've dated one long time ago, but because they are short, their heart is closer to the floor, so they make decisions so fast. <laughs> and they follow their mothers and everything, so they always, then they are always making a mistake. In his opinion, Ghanaian women are short and they are short-tempered. And they also, or they always follow their mothers. That was what he said. I have witnessed one or two incidents where a Ghanaian lady didn't marry a guy she met abroad because he didn't have legal documents or documents at all. Due to that, you know, her mother polluted her mind telling her, say, if she marries this guy, this guy will dump her after he gets his residency documents. But meanwhile, the lady loved this guy to death. But decided not to marry him because of what her mother told her so as for that party there i agree with them okay let's see who how many as uh, any any Ghanaian woman won miss world before no but nigerian women have won tell me about it yes it doesn't matter of um uh, warning uh, nigerians are more agree. educated than the Ghanaians no, no, ones as well yeah it's true I'm yeah they are more i I'm not agree. agree i agree what I'm part of ghana are you from i'm from kumasi ashanti yeah, shout out to kumasi hello. kumasi hello kumasi has any nigerian woman won miss world as he's saying write it in the comment section i want to know so as for the education part no bro I agree because Nigerians in general don't like to settle for less. No matter how old they are, bro, they still insist on learning something new or wanting to further their education. But some Ghanaians don't. They are always like, I'm too old for this. I want to make money and go home. That is why when you come abroad, Nigerians own big, uh, big businesses and do your friends and better jobs than most of the african countries a nigerian engineer will relocate abroad he will make sure say he will work as an engineer when he comes he will go to school to learn the engineering standards of whatever country he is in so he could work as an engineer but some Ghanaians will just go for jobs like dishwashing cleaning and so on because they have in mind say they just want to make money so they ditch whatever job they have learned in Ghana just to stick to dishwashing. Charlie, Nigerians want to make money too, but they want it big. That's why they put effort into learning. You follow me? Write your opinion in the comment section and let's discuss. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Ruthless. Like this video. Share this video. Write your opinion in the comment section and let's discuss as, we, as we've been doing on the daily basis. Be constructive in the comment section. Turn on the notification bell. Share, like for the algorithm to pick up and recommend this video to other people to watch and drop their opinion too. I go by the name Ruthless once again. I'm out.